Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Just filming another grocery haul for you guys today. I went to three different shops, so I'll run through all the items and the pricing for you. So I picked up some green mussels, green lip mussels from Woolworths. They're only $6 for one kilo and I grabbed two boxes. So that's two kilos for $12. Mussels are, are a great source of iron. I give a little bit to my dog as well and he likes having mussels. Some new things I purchased, some Arabic seasoning mixes. I haven't tried these before, but I thought I'd grab them today because they are half price. $2 sale down to a dollar. So I might give these a go. I don't know how to pronounce this, guys. I think that's called a shawarma and this one, shishtuk. If I have Arabic viewers, forgive my pronunciation. Um, I think each pack serves about six, so a dollar each. I'll give that a go. I picked up some of this textured vegetable protein. I thought I might give this a go and probably add it to my stockpile. So when you're making spaghetti bolognese or even a shepherd's pie, anything to do with a meat mixture, you can add some of this in to bulk the meal up. It's only $2 for how many grams is this? 200 grams. And I'm sure when you add it to meals, it expands as well. So I got that and I got some fennel seeds, guys. Can you believe this? 250 grams for like $2.50. I saw the little jars. I think it was maybe 30 grams for $2.90. And I figured, you know what? Fennel seeds. I'm sure they'll have this in the international aisle. I went in and I found a massive 250 gram bag for $2.50. It works out cheaper than the little Woolworths brand one. And you're getting like 10 times more. So have a look in your international aisle, guys. Um, I got some avocados. Both Coles and Woolies are selling avocados at the moment for a dollar. So that's a massive steal. So Muscles of Woolies, textured protein from Woolies. Arabic mixes from Woolies. That's from Woolies as well. I did go to Audi, guys. I know some of you guys like Audi. But controversial opinion. Don't come for me in the comments. But I don't like Audi, guys. <laughs> I don't think it's that much cheaper and the shopping experience is so stressful for me. They just throw everything to the side. It's very stressful. And these eggs, 700 grams, I think they were $3.90. So yes, they're, I think 30 cents cheaper than Woolworths. But Costco is so much cheaper. The only reason why I picked up these eggs this week is because I don't have time to go to Costco. Costco is about a 25 minute drive from my place. And when I do go to Costco, I'm going to be doing a proper shop. I don't want to just go in and get eggs. And I think I'm too busy this weekend to go to Costco. So I just grabbed some of these eggs here. So mm, I only grabbed them because I had to. I would still get my eggs from Costco because it's significantly cheaper. So these eggs are from Audi. And I also got this ice cream from Audi to give it a go. I think it was under $4, maybe $3.90. Again, not that much cheaper than Coles and Woolworths. But yeah so these uh, nong shin i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right but i love this shin ramen it's spicy so if you can't handle spice probably don't have this but i love poaching an egg in there adding some prawns some bok choy jazzing it up um they're seven dollars but they were on sale for five dollars this week for a five pack woolies needs to sell them for three dollars fifty when they're on sale but i haven't seen those type of sales in the past i don't know maybe nine months so i think five dollars is the new sale price so i grabbed that i mean it works out to be a dollar a pack because there's five packs in here and that's still heaps cheaper than me getting takeout moving on i grabbed some corn chips because I have avocado here so I'm probably going to have some chips with guac and I might even make my own nachos with my scotch fillet steak we'll see how I go I felt like a sweet drink this week guys grabbed some lemon lemon bitters from Woolies only a dollar avocados have already gone through I think onions at Woolies they're on sale guys a dollar fifty for a kilo Grab them, stock up on them, chop them up, put them in the freezer. They will last ages, even if you just put them in the fridge. Um, I've put them in the fridge and they've lasted me probably maybe two months, maybe even more. 
if it's starting to look sad, you guys can just peel it, chop it up, put it in a Ziploc bag, put it in the freezer and it will last ages. I only grabbed one bag this time because I th still have two or three bags in my fridge. <laughs> but good thing is, I haven't paid full price for onions for probably six or nine months. Some canned items. I'll probably feature some of this in my stockpile video because I did do a separate shop with some other stockpile items, but I'll show you guys that in a different video. Mango slices. I only grabbed one can because I wanted to try it to see if I like it before I stockpile this. Cocktail frankfurts. Sorry, the mango was $1.55 for those who are wondering. If I've missed any pricing for the items, let me know in the comments and I'll go and respond to you. These cocktail frankfurts are $5. Um, the can's quite small, to be honest with you. $5 for, where's the gram? For 400 grams, but I got it for half price, $2.50. So I'm going to give this a go. If I enjoy it, then I'll stockpile it. These canned sardines are only 85 cents, and this is for my dog. I'm going to be starting a stockpile for him as well. You guys can eat this. There's nothing wrong with humans eating this this is human grade food from Bulwers. um i just feed this to him because it's obviously got some omega-3s in there it's really good for him it's good for his coat and it's cheaper than me buying a fillet of fish to cook for him all the time so i've grabbed two extra cans here i've also got a three kilo bag of oranges here guys navel oranges because those are the only oranges i like eating they were on sale from $7 down to $4.80 this week. So I grabbed a three kilo bag. Um, oh, some scotch fillets, guys. So this was $8 at Coles, marked down to $4.40. And there is still plenty of time on this best before date. I think I'm filming this on the... 5th I think today's the 5th yeah today's the 5th of July I believe and look there's still a few days on there if you're not going to eat it chuck it in the freezer they're individually portioned anyways yes you can get some cheaper cuts of steak but if you're someone that likes scotch fillet this is a massive bargain because normally I pay about 35 to 36 dollars for a scotch fillet per kilo so this works out a lot cheaper $8 sale down to $4.40. What I plan on doing is I probably have one just simple steak with some either roast veggies or actually I might use some of my frozen broccoli, green beans and corn in the freezer for one of the days. And the other day I'm probably going to thinly slice this and kind of make a steak nacho type thing because I've got chips, I've got avocado, I can make my guac. And instead of using minced meat, I'm going to use some thinly cut steak pieces. Hopefully I remember to record that because I know some of you guys probably want to see those meals. Another thing I wanted to note, guys, the frozen corn at Woolies has gone up by 15%. Used to be $2.80, now it's $3.20. Just be mindful of inflation, guys. Uh, Woolies, they have this Disney thing going on, guys. Um, I'm not sure what this is. But if you spend $30, you get one card. I had a lovely lady that gave me a lot today. If you guys have kids and they love these cards, let me know in the comments. I'll see if I can post these out to someone. I think I have some of the footy cards as well. I've got to find it though. I have no idea where they are. I don't collect these things, but I, I thought, you know what? Some of my YouTubers probably have kids and you'll probably want this. So I started to collect these also budgeting tip for you guys don't take your kids shopping with you because <laughs> my auntie she takes her well she used to take her kids shopping with her and she spends significantly more she's starting to go shopping when the kids are at school obviously it's school holidays now but when they're at school she does her grocery shop and she saves so much more money when you don't take the kids because Look, at the end of the day, the kid's going to see something they want. And as a parent, it's probably a little bit hard for you to say no. And little bits and pieces here and there definitely do add to your grocery bills. If you can, leave them at home with the other parent or grandparents, whatever it is. And I'm sure that will help you guys save some money off your grocery bill. Let me know in the comments if you're interested in these cards. I'm going to try and find the footy cards for you guys. Can't promise you I'll find them though because I probably left them somewhere. 
And if I get a few of you guys, um, I might just put everybody's name in a drawer and pull out one person's name to give you guys the cards. I'm just going to send it in like a normal letter post thing. So I probably it's probably easier for me to just send it to one person. So if there's multiple of you guys that want this, I'm going to put your name in a drawer and just pull it out and I'll announce it in the next video or some sort. Okay. Anyways, if you enjoyed my video, please hit that like button for me because it really helps me out. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. And I do post bonus videos every now and then as well. Thanks for watching.